Hi, I'm Chip, CTO of the Cloud Foundry Foundation. Recently, we've been spending a lot of time as a community talking about lots of really interesting projects that are integrating Kubernetes into the Cloud Foundry family of open source efforts. So the first project is the Cloud Foundry Container Runtime. This is a project that Pivotal and Google started initially together. They called it Kubo back then. VMware quickly got involved, and since then it joined the Cloud Foundry Foundation as a incubating project. The whole goal of the Cloud Foundry Container Runtime is to make deploying, managing, and upgrading Kubernetes easy on any cloud. It does that by using Cloud Foundry Bosch in order to deploy onto virtually any infrastructure. Bosch has the ability to communicate with public clouds, private infrastructure environments, virtualization platforms, open source infrastructure as a service systems. And it can ask for whatever it needs in terms of virtual machines, the storage necessary to support them, the networking configuration. And so the Bosch director is able to ask this infrastructure or these clouds for as many virtual machines as it needs. It installs a small agent on each one of those machines. And that agent lets it give that machine jobs to do. So for example, the Bosch director to make Kubernetes work will deploy the etcd cluster, the Kubernetes master nodes, and then the rest of the pool of nodes that are gonna host the containers that Kubernetes is responsible for scheduling. The other thing that's very important about this dual scheduling layer where Kubernetes is responsible for scheduling containers and Bosch is responsible for scheduling jobs onto virtual machines, which is in fact Kubernetes nodes, is that what happens when a node disappears? Well, Kubernetes will read distribute all of the containers that it's responsible for. But with the Cloud Foundry container runtime, Bosch is able to ask the infrastructure for a new VM and rejoin it to the cluster, adding the capacity that was lost back. It also can take advantage of the logic that Bosch is able to achieve for zero downtime upgrades, uh, or rolling upgrades of the Kubernetes platform within the public clouds. 